Welcome back to Mona's Takes. I am your host, Mona Rose, and we are here to discuss everything reality TV. There will be spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, I suggest you wait to watch the video till after the episode. And if you would, please like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I appreciate all the love and support. As I told you last night, Carson won the HOH, and they had the wall competition. Carson made a deal with Todrick up on the wall. It was Todrick and Carson were the only two left. Carson told Todrick that he would not put him up. So Todrick dropped. So in my opinion, that's a very bad game move because Misha is competition based. She pulls herself off the block. He can't put Carson up. They're both still there. So they take a shot and they miss. But Carson says that he is going to adhere to the deal. Todrick moves into the room with Misha. Misha and Todd are going on and on all night about how mad they are at Chris Kirkpatrick and that they're in the position that they're in because of him. Not that they had anything to do with it. I mean, they've been running the whole house for the majority of the time that they've been in it, but it's Chris's fault. Everybody gets together and they're eating dinner. Everybody's visible except for Misha. She disappeared as soon as she went back in the house. Not sure, probably her bedroom, but she wasn't seen for quite a while. She was pissed. And in their bashing ceremony, he said he's glad Chris was voted out because Chris would have been very good on the, call, the wall comp. And I think he would have been too. Todrick and Misha are already talking about how they can both stay. Since Todrick can't go up on the block, if he wins the power of veto, then he can use it to take Misha down and they're both safe. And then Todd would go home. So that's the game plan that they're coming up with right now. Todrick said, I've played in every veto competition there is. And if I don't get picked to play in this veto, then the universe is against us. Only if they knew. If they could only know what's going on outside. They discuss what the competitions might be. Todrick is saying that he's hoping it's the ballerino because he dances so he won't get dizzy and he'd be, he'd be able to kill the comp. So Carson got his room rather late. Everybody was up there and he was showing them the pictures and read the letter and everything. Everybody was present but Misha. Nowhere to be found. To me, that's kind of disrespectful, but it's a big brother. She's still upset. She knows her game's in jeopardy at this point. Misha's seen yelling at production when she's ready to lay down because they won't turn the lights off, and she's literally yelling at them and not in a very good mood. I wonder why. This morning, they have a meeting with Todrick, Cynthia, Carson, and Shayna, and Carson tells him that he needs to promise him that if he wins the veto, that he'll keep the nominations the same. They want to vote out Misha. He wants Todrick's loyalty if he doesn't put him on the block. And he's like, you can come work with the four of us and where you started to begin with, and we can concentrate on getting Lamar and Todd out, and then all four of us just best man win. And Todrick says that he doesn't think he can do that he doesn't know if he can do that. He needs to talk to Misha. He feels like Misha's had his back from day one and that he would be betraying her. So if he was going to do that, then he needed to have a conversation with Misha first. And he asked Carson, he's like, well, what would you do if somebody asked you to turn on Cynthia? And Cynthia said, well, whoa, 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 you can't ask that because it's total, we're playing totally different games. It's like, we have an honesty, you know, we're ready to leave this game if we have to. And Carson said, yeah. He's like, I would leave the game for her. She would leave the game for me. Can you say that Misha would do the same for you? You think she would leave the game to save you? That's something you need to find out. So Misha and Todrick talk, and Todrick tells her what they've just proposed to him. And he's like, I don't know. I, I can't do that. I, I can't turn my back on you. You've been so good to me, and you're the reason I'm here. And I just feel like... If you were gone, I'd have no other choice but to work with them. But if you're here, I just can't see me turning my back on that, on you. So one of us needs to win the POV so that we can pull you down so that we're both still here. So they're already scheming a plan to get both of them to stay. And I guarantee you, they're still going to go after Carson and Cynthia. Todrick says that he knows he's on the bottom of the totem pole with the four and that it would be stupid for him to take the deal when he's number two with Misha. And I understand that. I get that valid point. But he's saying, I can tell him that I'm going to take the deal, but not really take the deal in hopes of getting you off. So if we get you off, then I can just say, oops, just joking. If you go home, then at least I have somebody to work with. And Misha said, so at, at that point, if you do win the power of veto, then what? 
And Todrick says, game on, bitches. So he's totally playing Cynthia and Carson, which he has been this entire game. Todrick also informs her that Todd took a deal um, to keep the nominations the same. And she says Todd wouldn't do that. He may have told them that, but he's not going to do that. So she still fully believes in Todd. And Todrick keeps going back and forth and saying that Carson promised not to put him on the block and to not backdoor him. However, Carson didn't make that promise. Carson promised not to put him on the block. Carson didn't say anything about backdooring. Not that I think Carson would, but that wasn't part of the plan. That wasn't part of the deal. It's nice to have cameras to go back and watch so you can say, is that what he really said? And then you rewind it and it's totally opposite of what he just said he said. Todrick is the best at that in this whole game. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good that we're going to get Mish out this week, right? Not so fast. I think Carson is going to totally screw up this HOH. And here's why. Todrick asks Cynthia if he can talk to her in private. So they go in and she he proceeds to tell her what a snake in the grass Shanna is and that she's been working with them the whole time and that she was the one that told them to put up Carson, that she's the one that was all about getting Carson out of the house, that she was the one behind it. And that she's playing them, that she's been playing both sides of the house this entire time. Which, in a way she has, but I think in a way she hasn't either. Because she's been totally honest with Cynthia and Carson. Like, she'll hear conversations going on between Misha and them. Then she'll take it back to Carson and Cynthia. So I think she's been more loyal to Carson and Cynthia. But all Cynthia heard was that she was coming after Carson. And that pissed Cynthia off. And then Todrick tells her, it's 2022. I would be okay sitting next to a black woman or a gay man, but not sitting next to that snake that's got her money by marrying men, flaunting her body, and goes into all this crap. He goes on to say he hates what she stands for, that she's not a nice person, that she uses men for money, and that that's how she made her money, and that he's had to work hard for the money that he's made while she's just made her men made her money by using men. This is the kind of crap he says. And I agree with Shanna. He is not a nice person at all. That's my opinion. So then Lamar comes into the room and Cynthia says, let me ask you a question. Do you trust Shanna? So I'm like getting a sick feeling in my stomach. And he basically says, no, he does not trust her. Well, actually it went on for a while because Todrick said, who, have, who do you think Shanna's, Shanna has been playing this entire game with? And Lamar says, duh, Carson. That wasn't the answer that Todrick was looking for. So he's like, well, no, no, no. Who do you think has been saving her? And he keeps on until he gets the correct answer out of Lamar that he wanted. Cynthia is falling for this hook, line, and sinker. I feel so bad. She is going to hate this move when she gets out of the house and sees who is actually targeting Carson. And that it was Todrick, not Shanna. Then Misha comes in, and she confirms everything that Todrick just told Cynthia to Cynthia. Cynthia is very fired up. Todrick says how they've all had to face adversity. But Shanna never has. That she walks around there half naked, and if that's her thing, then more power to her. And then Misha says, well, she's just doing that, hopefully, so that Lamar will vote for her. They talk about how inappropriate it is that Shanna uh, lets Lamar call her strawberry shortcake that she has a man and that that's inappropriate. And if that, Misha said, if that was me, I wouldn't be ugly about it, but I would put a stop to it because I have a man. And she has a man and she shouldn't let that happen. How many of us have nicknames for our friends? Doesn't mean that there's anything else going on. They talk about how Shana doesn't have any morals at all. Then Carson comes in the bathroom and Cynthia makes them tell everything that they just told her. They make them tell, Car her, them to tell Carson. And Cynthia's pissed, and she said, I'm not riding with that bitch. So then Misha presents a backdoor plan. Put up me and Todrick. That way we can both play for the power of veto, and then whoever wins the power of veto can take one of us down, put Shanna up, and we can vote her out because she's not a good person, and she hasn't been truthful to you. And about that time, Shanna enters the conversation and walks in the bathroom and says, can I join y'all? I'm bored. And then, whatever, yeah, I think Carson said, yeah. So Shanna sits down on the couch. So Todrick starts talking to Misha again. And Misha said, look, I'm going to stop you right there. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I don't like the energy in this room. So Shana gets up, storms out. It's like, fine, I'll leave the room so y'all can talk. 
she storms out. Well, then Cynthia leaves the room, and it's still Carson, Misha, and Todrick talking. Cynthia comes back in there and says she wanted to talk to me, and I told her not without you. And she was like, oh, okay. So Shannon knows something's going on. And actually what's bad is she told Cynthia last night this was going to happen. She said the only move that they have is to try to come in between the three of us. And she was absolutely right. And again, Misha says, I just can't respect her because all the money that she's got, she got from other men. She married them. She had kids with them. Whatever. That's how she got her money. So it comes time. Shanna finally gets Carson and says, look, can I speak to you alone? So they go into the workout room and she tells him her spill, you know, the, what we all know. She tried working with them. They weren't really taking her in. Misha keeps saying she was in the top four, but Misha sat there and named off her, Todrick, Todd, and Chris Kirkpatrick were the top four. Because Chris even asked her one time, well, what about Shanna? I thought Shanna was in there. So they can keep saying that she was in a final four with them all, she, all they want, but they never spoke to her. They never talked game to her. They never included her in anything. So in my opinion, she wasn't in an alliance with them. She promised him that she never, ever told them to put Carson up. And I'm looking back, and I don't think she did. So Carson takes her in the HOH room, and Cynthia's in there, and she said, "We're gonna." he said, we're going to have a talk. He said, now tell Cynthia everything she just you just told me. And so Shana starts trying. Well, Cynthia's pissed. Cynthia's not hearing it. She's not hearing half of what Shana says. She said, and you came after Carson? And she said, I never came after Carson. She's like, I just saved Carson. Why would I go after Carson and then save him? She's like, it doesn't make sense. She's like, I was with you guys. I was trying to help us further our game. So Cynthia said, well, fine, get them up here. If they're lying and, and they're saying you're saying things that you're not, get them up here. As a matter of fact, no, look, no. And then Carson says, uh, let's go downstairs. He don't want everybody in his H room brawling. So he's like, no, let's go downstairs. So they all go downstairs, and um, Misha says the same thing, that she was the one that wanted Carson out. And she's like, you never talk game to me. You never talk game to me. How can you say I told you something when you never talk game to me? And they have a little house fight, and of course, all seven of them are in there. And they're yelling and hollering at each other, mainly Misha and Shayna and Tadri and Cynthia. Because at this point, Cynthia thinks they've done gone after Carson. That Shanna's done gone after Carson. So she, she is fired up. She don't trust her anymore. She don't want to work with her anymore. It's over, done with, whatever. So basically, the whole house turned on Shayna. So it looks like Carson's HOH is going to be to get Shayna out. Carson ends up putting her and Misha on the block. And they talk, and he said, look, I just wanted to give you a chance to at least play in the veto, you have a chance to save yourself, you know, but at the, this moment, this is where we're at. So then Cynthia goes in and has a talk with her, and she tries to explain to Cynthia again, you know, hey, I was working for y'all, I was coming down here, I was telling y'all information. Yeah, I was with them sometimes, but I had to listen to what was going on, and she said, I brought every, every bit of it back to y'all, and she's like, this is the only move that they have is to come between us. So basically, Cynthia and Carson bought it hook, line, and sinker. And they are going to be so disappointed when they get out of this house, if they even care to watch. I know I would. Shanna tells them they're winning. They're winning right now because they've done what they set out to do, which was break us up. Because we had control of the house. We could have got her out. So they did what they had to do to make that not happen. I'm so disappointed that... Cynthia cannot see through Todrick's bullshit. She cannot see how that man has been working the entire house from day one. So now Todrick and Misha are sitting at the table and they're just patting their stuff on the back. Job well done. We did it. Now she's gone and you're safe. So I'm really hoping that Shayna wins that POV. And then I'm hoping that Shayna turns around and wins HOH and puts Misha's ass out. Actually, I'd be just as fine if she put Todrick out. And I know, I look a little upset, but this is literally made me sick to my stomach watching this today. Like, Carson was our saving grace. Carson was going to flip the house. Carson was going to make it to where 
the ultimate athlete doesn't win this freaking game. I'm afraid Carson's going to screw that up. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if they'll have the POV competition tomorrow or Monday, but I'm going to keep watching the feeds and see what's going on, and I'll let you guys know. Have a good night, and as always, much love.